Hi, welcome to Texas Review. My name is Amlesh. Today I'll take you through the next step of reading. All of you must have gone through the process of reading in your school days as well as college days. But have you ever thought about whether we are involved in active reading or passive reading? Well, generally I have seen that most of us read with the intent of getting marks, memorizing something, putting it on a paper and ensuring that we get higher percentage. But today we are going to focus on an interesting aspect of reading that is known as active reading skill. So what is active reading skill? Let us have a look at the steps over here. Whenever you read, ensure that you read with a purpose. I'm quite sure all of us watch movies. When you go to watch a movie, I'm, there's a purpose behind that. The purpose might be entertainment. The purpose might be to see your favorite film star or the director is very good, you want to see how he is directed. So whenever you start reading, make sure that you read with a purpose. How can we generate that purpose? Once you have that in the mind, make sure that you understand the theme of the passage. Now most of the movies when you watch, some of them are of different genres, like action movies, comedy movies. So the theme can be based on the understanding of the entire passage. You should see that the entire passage revolves around which theme. The theme can also be said that it can help you to give a clarity on what kind of information is going to be there in the passage. Once you are clear with the theme, ensure that you look for the main idea or ideas given in the passage. Now let us again correlate this information to a movie. In a movie you have a central character and the entire story revolves around a central character. Sometimes we have more than one character who is important. So at times there can be one idea or even more than one which will be the main idea binding the entire information. So make sure that once you understand the main idea or the ideas you'd be able to see the other piece of information from that perspective. Once you have figured out the main idea as you proceed you will see that the other ideas will be the supporting ideas. Now these supporting ideas can be identified by using your knowledge of transition words. Either they'll be in the form of modifiers who modify the given piece of information or they'll be extending a given piece of information or they are going to work as a contraster which is going to contrast the given piece of information. So make sure that while you read you are able to identify the transition words and see when the idea is changing and what kind of change is happening. Even you should be very good with the understanding of punctuations. Once you understand punctuations, you can predict and you can see how the information is flowing. Once you are done with this process, also make sure that you identify the key adjectives used to denote the tone of the author. In case a lot of positive adjectives have been used, you can understand that the author has got a positive mindset towards the given piece of information. In case a lot of negative adjectives have been used, you can understand that the author is either criticizing or he is giving some negative information. So this tone of author should be very much clear and you should be able to correlate this negativity or positivity in the given text with the kind of questions that are asked for responding. You should also look at the style of writing. Is the author describing something? Is the author giving a piece of information? Is the author trying to refute a particular kind of belief? Is the author trying to present an idea? Or is the author just asking an open-ended question and giving a piece of information for your reference. Once you are done with this, I am quite sure that you are going to respond perfectly to the given questions and score good marks. So I hope that you have understood the strategy for active reading. So be active, read actively, read with a purpose. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any queries, please post the same in the form of your comments and subscribe to our videos. We will be posting more videos for you in the future. Thank you very much.